Diablo 4, the upcoming hack and slash action role playing game from Blizzard, promises to offer a rich immersive experience for fans of long running franchises. However, one aspect of the game that has recently stirred some controversy among players is the respec costs, which determine how much gold you need to reallocate your skill points in the skill tree. On one hand, the respec cost can be seen as a positive feature that adds depth and challenge to the game by requiring players to think strategically about the character builds and plan ahead for different scenarios. The costs incentivize players to invest some thoughts into their characters and create sturdy builds to carry them through the endgame. Moreover, the costs encourage players to explore different areas of the game and complete various quests and creates a whole new meta game of efficient gold farming. On the other hand, the respec cost can also be seen as a negative feature that frustrates and alienates some players. Respecking in Diablo 3 was completely free, which made it easier for players to experiment with different builds and playstyles. Blizzard even provided a convenient structure in the city called the Armory, which allowed players to switch builds with one click without having to manually adjust every skill and rune. By making the costs high and fixed, the game limits the flexibility and the will to experiment that players might have with their characters. If a player wants to try a new build or experiment with a different playstyle, they may have to spend a significant amount of time and effort grinding for gold or replaying content they've already completed, which can feel tedious and repetitive. Additionally, the cost may discourage players from trying out new content and taking risks, as they fear they may waste their gold or regret their decisions later. But if we all remember in Diablo 3, gold was usually not a problem once you hit the end game. By that point, you would have amassed a substantial amount of gold through various means. Farming puzzle rings was one of my favorite. Therefore, it's possible that our concerns about respec costs in Diablo 4 may be overblown, and that once players reach the end game and accumulate more gold, they will find that the costs are not as prohibitive as they may seem. However, it remains to be seen how well the new system will work in practice and whether players will find it enjoyable or frustrating. In the light of the pros and cons, it's clear that the respec costs in Diablo 4 are a mixed blessing for players. While they add an extra layer of challenge and depth into the game, they can also limit the player's freedom and creativity. Ultimately, whether you enjoy the respec costs or not may depend on your playstyle and your preferences. If you like planning ahead, strategizing and earning rewards, you may find the cost to be a welcome addition. However, if you value flexibility, experimentation and spontaneity, then you may find the costs a little bit frustrating and unnecessary. Either way, it's worth keeping an open mind and trying out the system for yourself when Diablo 4 launches, as Blizzard had promised to monitor feedback and adjust the cost if necessary based on the player data. And while the respawn cost in Diablo 4 may seem concerning to some players, it's important to remember that we don't have the full picture on how the system will work. It is possible that as in Diablo 3, gold may not be a problem in the end game and that respecking may be easier than it seems. Don't forget, Blizzard had announced a Server Slam free beta event starting on May 12th and which will last the whole weekend. It will allow players to experiment their game firsthand and provide feedback. Therefore, it's a little bit too early to panic about the respect cost or any other aspect of the game, really. We should look forward to see everyone playing the beta and then we're getting a better sense of how the game will play out in the end.